Hey, good Tuesday evening to everybody. How are you? It is good to see you. It is good to be seen by you. I, of course, am Bill Sylvie, a.k.a. The Dungeon Delver, and welcome to the show. Um, this is a thing we do on Tuesday evenings. If you're new here, if you're just stopping by for the first time, know this. Uh, we live stream five nights a week, more or less, and on Tuesdays, we play first edition Advanced Dungeons & Dragons. Now, I know what you're thinking. Bill, is this incredible live stream sponsored by anyone? Do you just do it for free? Well, it is brought to you by our friends at Hellebard Games, and Hellebard makes the kind of adventures they'd like to play. Whether it's for 5th edition, for Castles and Crusades, or for the OSR, Old School is in play at the table with Hellebard Games, and you can check them out on DriveThruRPG or at their website, hellebardgames.com, linked in the description below and if you enjoyed that well what can i say you're really easy to please so do click the subscribe button click the bell icon for notifications and if you like the video give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below and tell me what you liked about it and i'll do more of that thing and if you didn't like it and you want to give it a thumbs down well do that too and leave a comment below and tell me what you didn't like about it and i'll do less of that thing that's how I roll. That's just that's just the way I do things. So in a few minutes, again, we're going to be playing some first edition advanced Dungeons and Dragons, which is always a lot of fun. And I got to tell you guys, again, if you're new here, all jokes aside, um, no, this is not my attempt at critical role. This is, well, first of all, it's first edition AD&D. It's not 5e. But more importantly, guys, um, this isn't passive. If you have a question, if you have a comment, if you have a concern, something, anything that sparks your interest about this game, please leave a comment over in the live chat section, and I'll do my best to answer that question. Uh, and if I don't get to it, I am absolutely certain one of our incredibly knowledge fellow audience members will help you out because I know a lot of you folks have either not played first edition or not played first edition in a really long time. And you might be a little curious about what's going on and what's what's being done in game. So that is that is my gold standard promise to you guys. Again, this is not merely some you know, just, well, sit back and watch TV, right? Um, so I, I want you to do that. I, I would like you to do that. But anyhow, there is there is one thing I want to mention before we get going here. Now, you, you guys probably know. I know that, that sometimes there's not a lot of Venn diagram crossover. I know a lot of you guys come here for the live streams, and a lot of you folks uh, will... will uh, just watch the interstitial videos and maybe you don't watch the live streams uh, often at all or even know that I do them because of how YouTube works. But there's one thing that I want to address because I've had a couple of questions about this and it is something I tried to address today. Uh, the recent comments made by two talking heads from Wizards of the Coast, I'm not going to link to their video, their YouTube channel, and I'm not going to link to other commentaries on this. If you really want to see the outrage uh, and experience the outrage for yourself, you're welcome to go find this, uh, where basically they spend the conclusion of a video talking about their non-celebration of the 50th anniversary of Dungeons & Dragons, not in any real sense. Um capping it off with uh, rather unkind statements about Gary Gygax and Dave Arneson. Um, it, it all wrapped up in a, in a saccharine uh, bundle of, you know, we, we have to do better. Um, I tried to make a video today about them taking a massive dump on, on, uh, D&D's legacy. I tried. I tried a few times. It always ended up with me yelling. Um, and I know you guys, you know, as the meme, you like a good Bill Sylvie rant. You you like to hear me flip my shit and, and go on a tear. Um, I think this was beyond that. Uh, 
and I tried again. I, I, I tried. I, I think by the time I've calmed down enough where I could do a objective video as objective as I get about it, it'll be a non-traversy and it'll be in the rear view mirror and, and, and no one will want to see it anyway. Um, I'm, I'm dancing around it and I'm trying not to launch into it actually. Uh, because again, I, I, I don't, I don't want to, and I, I, I don't want to be that angry. Um, but yeah, I, 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 I cannot objectively address the things that they said. I will repeat to them though. Uh, there, there, there's two points, uh, and one kind of goes into the other. Um, if they think so poorly of Gary Gygax and Dave Arneson, Gary Gygax and Dave Arneson's families, loved ones, friends, associates, co-workers are very easy to contact. Since Wizards of the Coast already knows the people they're telling this to believe it, the people they would have to convince are people that don't believe it, and that would be the group that I just mentioned. Um, why do these cowards never go and say these things to the Gygaxes or the Artisans or any of the people that they worked with? Of course, they don't. They're cowards and they hide on the internet. Um, Wizards of the Coast will be at GaryCon. Um, and that is the most frustratingly insulting thing in the world. I, do, I think they should be barred for for making this video unless they issue an apology unless these two individuals issue an actual apology and say the things we said we know are objectively incorrect um i think if luke gygax embraces them and lets wizards of the coast come to gary con uh with that shit on their lips uh it taints the entire thing so, uh, unless they're, they're coming to belly crawl and apologize. Now I said, all I'm going to say about that, that is as close to a video, uh, about that topic as you're going to get, let's have fun. Let's do something fun and let's play first edition advanced dungeons and dragons. And we are going to continue our adventures into slave pits of the undercity. Now I have an excellent crew that has grown by one tonight, and I'm pretty damn happy about that. Uh, so everybody, let us let us bring the noise and give a big old Delver's Dungeon welcome to Doomsword Deathmaster playing Vrug Dorn. What's up? To everybody's favorite Kevin that appears on my AD&D live streams, and none of you can deny that playing uh marius easel the magic user hello hello <clears throat> mark my words he's grimsby hello a man who needs no introduction even and all and a fellow if we didn't uh, uh, okay doom sword got that one uh a fellow who uh, to be honest if we didn't have sir standard we wouldn't have any standards at all <laughs> Same joke. Keeps writing itself. Hey, you know, it's low-hanging fruit, man, and I love you to pieces, so I gotta, I, I gotta do it, right? And last but not least, everybody, put your hands together and welcome the new addition to the Tuesday Night Crew. Now, I've been on his YouTube channel. He's been on my YouTube channel. We have uh, uh, fenced and foiled verbally in a good way, in a positive way, over on Twitter. Everybody, please welcome to the live stream uh, Quite honestly, the most Timothy M. Holt I have ever known. Everybody say hello, Timothy. Hello, everybody. What's up? Hello. Nobody else wants to be Timothy M. Holt, so the job was available, so I took it. You know what? When I saw your resume, I said, he's perfect for the job. <laughs> you met all of the criteria. That's right. So, um... We will be introducing Tim's character. Like I'm not very much of a. Well, yes, he's been adventuring with you the whole time. 
kind of dungeon master. So we'll be rolling him in uh, in a little bit. But I will uh, I will definitely uh, uh, definitely be bringing that. Um, so now tonight we are almost assuredly all theater of the mind. But don't worry, guys. The days of Dwarven Forge and miniatures they'll be back. Calm down. Relax. Last week the party had uh they had struck like a cobra and pulled back having gained a modicum of treasure and done away with some scurrilous undead vru dorn had smooth or as the case may be rough talked his way past a band of patrolling orcs in the ruins of the uh the the temple now turned slave market and you had returned to your own uh, readout in the slums outside the city of Highport. The slaves that you had freed, grateful and healing. Um, so with that said, there was a, a quest, a, a search for someone who could train. And Grimsby, after uh, more than a little bit of thumping with the occasional rod and getting his fingers nicked by failing to properly pickpocket the training dump dummy and getting a fish hook here and a razor slice there, you have gone up a level, sir. So congratulations. Um, and I believe we did roll for your hit points last week, did we not? Yes, a, a whopping two hit points. A Hey, that's two more than you had yesterday, right? Yeah, I'm still single digits, but I'm getting there. Yes. Um, and by the way, there was a question in there. Uh, let's see. Tim is playing. Uh, uh, Tim is playing what? Uh, he's a human fighter, and his character's name is Tarth Nose Rage. I approve. Um, so, anyway, you are in the slums. Um, and I believe Vrug, you went to the uh, the Fighters Guild, uh, by which I mean you found an alley full of people who would beat you up for a week in exchange for a bag of gold. Yeah, that works two ways. Nobody Indeed. talks about Fight Club. <laughs> Indeed. And you open the door and you step inside. We're inside our heart. Oof. All right. So. Um, is there any other stuff that you guys wish to get up to? Well, I'd still like to sell that wand. Okay, and that is, that is the wand of paralysis or the wand of fireballs? Yeah, the wand of paralysis. Okay. All right. Um, I'd like to keep it, but I need to level. I completely understand. So while Vrug, I, I, am I to assume that while Vrug and uh, Grimsby are training is when you're going to do this? Yeah, and um, was it Mar? Was it Mar? No, not Marius. Um, Duran, I believe that wanted to um sell that scroll. That was Marius. Uh, yep. The one time I had it right. <laughs> second okay. guess yourself. <laughs> yeah, yep. yep. Just what I tell my students: don't second guess yourself. Um, all right, Marius, did you want to go with me then? I definitely am not going by myself. This place does not like me. <laughs> <laughs> they don't so, like me anymore. Uh, yeah, but you didn't charm like an important person that's really, really pissed off about it. <laughs> so. I honestly thought that that was the last town we were at. Yeah, that was a different town. Oh, was that, that the last, last town? Well, damn it. I, I guess I, uh, I feel friend. better then. Or Stoneheim, rather. Oh, okay. you, you have every opportunity to charm someone here that we haven't met. That's true. Yeah, you, ample opportunity to offend thousands of people in Highport. Yep, I'm an equal opportunity offender, and that is definitely what's going to happen as long as I have an escape. So, okay. Yeah, I'll go. I'll go for the. I'll go for the ride. Okay, so cloaks pulled over your heads. You make your way into into Highport. Let's see. Ooh, what does that mean? 69 or 96? 96. <laughs> All right. Um, you don't, I mean, it, it's it, it's fairly obvious that like the quiet streets with not anybody on them and suspiciously dark doors and alleys sprouting off them. They're not the streets that you guys want to go down. But you do pass a group of tradesmen 
shovels and pickaxes. Um, there, there, there's actually a couple of hobgoblins amongst them. Um, so, uh, um, okay. They're not really paying you guys any attention. Do you wish to stop or interact with them? No. <laughs> okay. Would you I wish walk to walk by? Yes. I wish to walk down the street with a sign around my neck that says, Mug me, I'm suicidal, while screaming <laughs> at the top of my lungs. All right. Um, so where are you guys looking to sell your magic items? Sword said, "Oops, no C four. That uh, C four is serious, putty. By the way. Anyway, um, where do you guys? Uh, wh where are you looking to sell your uh, your magic items at? We don't have any idea of where. Okay, so we That's need to find where. Fair, fair enough. Uh, there are there is kind of a uh, some shops. Uh, there's an open mercantile area." sort of uh right along the main drag there in uh in the town you uh you can certainly ask around okie dokie um, yeah we'll we'll ask not the hobgoblins yeah okay. is your charisma any better than mine probably uh i think it's 14 yeah yours is better than mine you do it uh no i'm a liar it's eight <laughs> <laughs> well because mine is better than yours by all of one point so um yeah oh. A nine charisma is absolutely average. You are neither offensive nor nor charming. Correct. Your character. Your character. No, I, no. Me, me as a person, I'm very <laughs> offensive. I just don't care. Wait, mine is eleven. All right. This well, good. as you are, uh, as you are uh, debating this, uh, there's a fellow in uh, uh, shabby. Uh, but baggy silken pants, uh, a, a red vest and a mac matching silken shirt underneath it. And he, he's got, uh, it sort of reminds you of someone from, from the distant Sultanate of Zeef. He's got sort of a head wrapping around and he is furiously sweeping uh, a carpet that is not getting any cleaner uh, in front of his shop. And he looks over and espies you and says, ah, yes, travelers, come, come. You are you are looking for goods for in sale in, in, for sale in this wretched city. Yes, come, please, come. You will come here. Yes, we are looking to sell something, not buy something. But yes, we'll follow him in, or at least I will. Yeah, oh, well, uh, it's probably safer in there than in the street. So okay, don't uh, hold your breath. This is uh, this is kind of a, it, it's sort of an everything shop. There's. Uh, a few carpets rolled up and, and tied off with uh, twine against the wall. There's some questionably effective looking armor you think is probably more decorative than functional. Uh, likewise, swords and scimitars, uh, a, uh, a stack of books tottering higher than him next to the counter. And uh, he actually points that out and says, ah, please be very careful of the first editions. If you knock them over, you will pay for them. Um, so, my friends, what is it you wish to sell? You go does first, it, Mars. Does, you does he look like he has anything in here that might remotely would be worth what we're selling? It doesn't seem it. I mean, there's first edition books in here, but I, yeah. Uh, well, I mean, value is a funny thing, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> and they're One not looking to be paid in goats. Treasure. I mean, let's face it. When I kick off, all this stuff around me is going to go right to the curb or to goodwill. But it's it's priceless to me, right? So that is up to you guys. That hurts, Bill. That <laughs> hurts. <laughs> If somebody sent, if somebody threw out your collection, I think they deserve to be beaten. It happens every day, dude. I know it does, <laughs> and, I, and, and my statement stands the same. Anyway, 
<laughs> so um yeah uh he's he's what can i get uh, uh uh what what is it you gentlemen have to sell we're looking to sell magic items ones i'm not entirely sure you can afford his face is frozen for a minute and he makes his way through the the piles back to the front of the store and you hear a creak and a thud and the sound of bolts being drawn and then he comes back with the same expression on his face one can never be too careful in such a filthy city as this my friends Excellent. so what is it you got um i have a wand here its charges are limited sad to say but i inherited it in uh, from its previous possessor in um in the same condition uh so I, I have a wand of paralyzation which you may or may not be interested in he reaches behind the counter and picks up a uh a cage that has got a a rabbit in it and says would you demonstrate it please i'm not wasting a charge on a rabbit Well, I don't know how your friend feels about being paralyzed. That's not necessarily... Well, it depends. Are you going to buy it if it only has eight charges left? If it truly does what you claim it does, then I don't see why I wouldn't. Well, all right. Um, I'm going to look over at Marius here, and you go, you, you do realize he just agreed to buy this, even though that he is wasting a ninth of its current power, right? Yeah, I get it. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'll paralyze the rabbit. <laughs> okay. Um, just for, make just it for saving throw. Ease. let's see. <laughs> yeah, Bunny does not make a saving throw. Uh, Bunny just stops moving mid chew, mid nervous chew. Oh, Flopsy. He um, kind of twiddles a ring, passes his hand over the cage. Indeed, indeed, this is what you claim it is. Well, my friend, you are seeking to sell this item to me. There are many who would uh, there are many who would uh, desire to purchase it from me. I also happen to have a wand of fireballs in my possession. Would you like me to put that to the same test? <laughs> you have a very wry sense of humor, my friend, but uh, perhaps. Indeed their time and what are you asking for this wand of paralysis well a going rate would be 10 grand considering its price is well reduced somewhat how about three uh with only eight charges remaining. Uh, you had me spend one of them, mind. That is very true. Perhaps 2,600 golden orbs. Let's split the difference and do 28. You drive a hard bargain and you take food from my very children's mouth, but 28 it shall be. I shall pay you in gemstones. Is it, this is acceptable? That's fine. And you're human. You can have more children. And as for you, my friend, you had an item you wish to sell? I do, but I can't demonstrate it. <laughs> so uh, I have a scroll protection here mm. that uh, you know protects from undead. Quite a uh, cherishable item, uh, especially in my field. <clears throat> I see. He reaches behind the counter again and sets a polished brass mirror at an off angle and says, unroll this scroll so, I, so that I might see the markings upon it. I, uh, I'll unroll it uh, slowly just in case he decides to start reading it. He, well, he's like 
He's not doing anything yet, but but he's touching another ring on his other finger and watching you very carefully. Okay. I, I unroll it slowly. <clears throat> okay. Uh, he says, ah, uh, yes. Yes, a potent scroll that staves off the the walking uh the walking corpses the the negative planar creatures that that uh should lie undisturbed in the ground we've met some recently they're nasty business i still don't forgive you for not using it when you have the chance <laughs> i have heard of such creatures before myself of course what is your asking price my friend Oh, the going rate for this is 7,500 gold. And? That's the going rate. If you have an offer or counter. Thank you for informing me of the, current, uh, of the current market price. What are you asking for it? I, I, I would like the, the asking price. But if you have a counter offer, I would gladly hear it. Hmm. For something like this, truly, it is of utility, but to a a type that I do not cater to very often. I'm going to lean in real close, and I'm going to inform him that there is an infestation of whites living under this city. I have recently fallen victim to one, and so is one of my friends. He may wish to keep it for his own safety. All right. Ah, you do make a good point. Since, since the days of the Great Fire and the breaking of the walls, there have been uh, several of these unsavory creatures m moving about. My friend, will you consider 6,000? I would consider 6250. That covers my time and effort for getting in here and then pays some of my requirement to others. I, may, I have made my offer, my friend. Is that your final offer? That is my final offer. I'll <laughs> I'll uh, I guess I'll pass it across and say uh, I'm assuming gems then. Of course, of course. I don't keep large amounts of coin on hand. All right. Um, he uh, picks up a small bag from behind the counter and reaches down into it to his shoulder length and comes out and carefully begins to set out collections of rubies and diamonds and emeralds. Um, he also reaches into his vest pocket and holds out uh, there is a gemstone on a loop and he says you may uh, he, he does not take the, uh, the the chain from around his neck but he holds it where you could you could at least look through it at the gems you reckon that is a lens of, of uh, seeing so uh, if he's committing imposture, he's going to great lengths. <laughs> no, I take him at his word. I'll take the, I'll take the gems. I'll, I'll use the eyepiece, even though I have no idea what I'm looking at. Okay, <laughs> just just to to calm him, should he feel that uh, we might feel swindled. So, okay. Uh, uh, GM Grimoire asks if we're playing Keep on the Borderlands. Nope, we have uh, graduated. This is Sleep. It's of the Undercity with some ongoings in high ports. So you guys have gotten paid. You've gotten P-A-I-D paid. Well, I'm closer to being able to afford a level at least. Yeah, well, I mean, I can make some gaps here with what I need. So I only need uh, 1600 to level. So uh, that leaves quite a bit. 
all right so you have uh you have completed your your business and he, uh would you care to stay for tea my friends um sure we can delay a little marius you are going to owe me for this but i will give you the remaining 1600 no 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 i i have I needed sixteen hundred, and I got six thousand. I see. I see. I yeah, see. Yeah, I thought, no, you, no. I thought you needed good. more. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I okay. I have extra. Let me put it that way. Good. Well, so. then I will be taking that extra as recompense for my lost level. <laughs> okay. Uh, what about uh, it's just uh, out of character or whatever? I mean, we might have enough to do to run, huh? Maybe. Now that's yep. fair. Would we rather level to run? I mean, everybody. I think we can get everybody with what you got. Well, we'll see. Let's do the math. Let's do the math when we get back. Um, I, I, you know, I'll, I'll agree to tea, and I'll uh, mention that uh, I am looking for someone of a, a, a good status to train magical abilities, as I know no one in this area. Okay. Um, so while you guys are enjoying some of that, uh, some of that deliciousness from uh, the, uh, the fellow's samovar there, let us shift over. Um, Tarth Nose Rage. The depredations of the slavers up and down the wild coast have left no village or town untouched. And indeed, your very own was was plundered, and many of your people carried off by the uh, by the agents of the slavers. Now you were fortunate in that none of your family or loved ones, but certainly people you knew were spirited away, uh, and not in the fun Studio Ghibli way, but in the terrible Viking raid kind of way, by uh, the the. Uh, black sailed ships um following rumors that that corsairs that pirates uh south in the uh in in one of the uh cities of the old pomarge which long ago fell to the hands of various tribes of humanoids might be a place where where such fiends would sell their 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 terrible cargoes uh you have journeyed down the coast and found yourself in the city and it is truly truly an awful locale uh there's great rents in the walls and you can tell it was once a mighty port city but that was decades ago um there's uh humans and demi-humans but there is a large contingent of humanoids here um hobgoblins you see a few uh a, a, a few bugbears even which is frightening enough and as such you know that at the very least this place is a hive of evil so you decide to, to make your way to the fighters guild to see if perhaps there is a uh there's a way you could you could hire some assistance and as you uh, as you approach what must be the training yard um, your shouts and uh, of look out it's like we weren't supposed to train in this well ow ow the flat of the sword uh, and looking in you see a fellow who has handily defeated four men at arms he's brawny feud um and i you know i can't remember if we ever checked this um he's got a pretty dour cast to him stops spits picks his nose then his ear in that order um vroog you have a spectator as you're wrapping up your training a human has approached all right, I'll wipe off the sweat. 
you know, hopefully, uh, I mean, if it, if it inadvertently flicks the human in the face, that's not my fault. <laughs> uh, yeah, and the the weapons master yells at you. You! Stop beating up my men! That's it! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bring some better ones next time. Uh, that's why I charge so much to train you people. Equipment costs! Yeah. Their equipment was shite. Mm. All right, so you went up to uh, fifth level? Uh, I went up to fourth level. Oh, fourth level, that's right. Okay, so. I've got a DM that likes to steal my levels. I do no such <laughs> thing, but undead creatures do it. You should. You can't lay that on me, man. Oh, yes, we can. We can uh, ladle I thought it on you. Like brain. adversarial demon. Ability for that. What's it, Tim? Don't listen to him. Audience, they're they're just. Anyway, <laughs> he puts his hands on his steps. All right, I confer you the title of hero. Get out of here. <laughs> Gladly, I'll be back. Mm -hmm. So the dice giveth and the dice taketh away. The DM has nothing to do with it. <laughs> All right. So when they yeah. smile wickedly, you know that doesn't help. No, that's just for fun. All right. Um. So, yeah. There. Uh, describe yourself, Tarth Nose Rage. I am a fourth level fighter. Uh, I have been looking for groups of people to uh, uh, adventure with. Um, perhaps try to return some of the people to my village. Uh, but of course, uh, there's always uh, ways for us to work together to make some more coin. Yeah, there might be. What did what adventure? Gonna, uh, I'd like to size him up, look at the musculature and that type of thing. Being that um, you know uh, a militia man, and have uh, fought through the stuff. I, I, I want to know if he carries himself like a like a veteran soldier, or if. Uh, if he might be the type of guy who just uh, happens to have learned through banditry and, and other such things. Uh, well, I, I, will leave, I will leave that to Tim to uh, describe his character accordingly. Um, well, my character is, is level four. Uh, he is a fighter who believes that uh, chain mail and a shield is better than plate mail and no, mo no mobility. Uh, he carries a, a sword and two daggers as his typical weapons because he likes to be in the heart of the fight instead of having to stand at the periphery and shoot uh, little stupid missiles at things. He'd much rather stab someone in the heart. Uh, he has a, a 16 strength and a, a, nine dexter a 12 dexterity. Uh, so he, uh, he believes in speed and mobility versus... Uh, trickery and and uh thievery it's, it's, the only thing a thief is good for is stabbing them in the head <laughs> <laughs> well, and and stealing your stuff right well, yeah i think group would be able to size that looking? up his, someone's talking about me <laughs> his, his hobbies include um drinking beer grabbing barmaids and uh, uh stabbing things in the heart from just from uh, as close as he can get just keep the order of operations correct, Tim. <laughs> Stab the barmaid, grab the... Wait, no, that's not it. It depends on how much beer you've had, but, you know, it, that's... <laughs> you seem to be pretty formidable. Looks like you've had your share of battle. More of a skirmisher, eh? I am. All right. Good man flesh for fodder, I suppose. We'll have to speak with the others. Uh, Vrug, Vrug's a six four, you know, towering. You can you can tell. I would imagine have probably having had experience with it. You could probably tell that he's a uh, half orc, but he does a fairly good job as uh, passing for a human, of course, uh, except for slightly pointed ears and the way the way that he dresses his uh, hair in uh, almost like uh, almost almost like braided kind of uh, dreadlocks and dyes it orange. Kind of, kind of gives away that he's not of the normal 
a uh, human can. He, um, you know, he, you could tell, I would imagine, that he carries himself like a soldier. Uh, the early part of his life was spent soldiering, and he stands up, you know, with a strong posture and, um, and walks and uh, talks as much as he can uh, deliberately. Um, you see that he's got a, uh, a real nice looking longsword, a real nice looking shield, and he's the type of warrior who does love plate mail, uh, particularly this uh, battle worn but, uh, uh, but obviously well fashioned suit that he's wearing at the moment. Interesting. We should speak with the others. I'll lead the way, but you stand at the side. I will. Okay. In the interim, um, Mark Grimsby is finishing up his uh, his training, and you have gone. Are are you up to fifth or fourth? You are up to fourth. Okay. But if, if you but, want to give me a free level, I'll take it. Uh, you are a robber now. Yes. You, so you are a robber. I'm a professional uh, at it instead of just doing it for fun. <laughs> exactly. You do it professionally instead of on the uh, side. And the head of the Thieves Guild makes it clear in no uncertain terms that anything that you do uh, to further your gains, you had better pay guild dues while you're in high port. Anything? Anything. Anything. Okay. The guild's eyes are everywhere in this city. It's rotten to the core and filled with maggot holes. And we can see through it all. So if you try any pickpocketing, any, any, uh, any muggings, anything like that, and you don't come back and give us our cut, you're going to have to figure out how to open locks minus your thumb. The right one, I think. It offends me more. So no muggings, no pickpockets. Gotcha. Okay. Can I go now? <laughs> yes, you Grimsby may go, Robert Grimsby. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Mobius, is Duran uh, trying to uh, seek a a holy place here to to uh, to level up? Uh, nope. Okay. Well, I guess I'm just hanging out with the flock. Sure yes, and you have it. actually made uh, more than a few converts. Um, uh, you're a cleric of Bokob. Bokob, that's right. Yes. Yeah. So, <laughs> yes, you're t you're telling the <laughs> magic's the way. Just I'm trying <laughs> to find the smart ones with dexterous fingers. Maybe I can send them to the school. And uh... yeah, it's a little. A lot of them already had religions, but they're 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 at least willing to listen. Um, but yeah, there there's there's no clerking types here. Um, so time passes. Uh, Sir Standard, Marius. You guys are you guys are hanging out with a merchant who has kind of gone back to his uh, yes Effendi three bags full mode after he he unlocks the door and serves the tea. There's a couple of folks that poke their noses in and he fawns over them and sells the occasional bauble, but then returns back to the table to sit with you and says, "So, may I ask you what it is that brings you to this awful place? You do not." look like the downtrodden who typically find themselves washed up in this little cesspool. <clears throat> we seek adventure, and uh, we heard there was some to be found here. It has been much more challenging than we had heard. What is your stance on the slavers? <laughs> 
Well, I suppose those that fall into their clutches are unfortunate victims of an uncaring cosmos. They mostly keep to themselves. They sell a good that I have no interest in acquiring. And their leadership? Do you owe them anything? Ha! Not hardly. They stay away from my little shop, which is how I prefer it. And if they somehow went missing? Well, they are not the... They are not those who control this, this filthy little town. So whether they stay or whether they go, it makes no difference to me. Good. Then I don't think I need to say much more as to why we're here. Ah, tilting at windmills, are we, my friend? Not us, but our employers. Yes, we are merely the sword. I see. Well, then if that is your goal and you wish to continue to live, may strike true. He lifts up his little teacup and takes a sip. Do that or, do that or die trying. So, have you had any success in finding the weak spots in your foeman's armor? Indeed. You know, a rumor some, uh, perhaps a fortnight ago, was that uh, someone decapitated one of the, uh, one of the city watch patrols uh mages heads and left and, it on a stake in the slums yes put it on the pike it. right next to a building yes I that was the thing that i heard yes they got in my way and that's what happens to people who get in my way i see you must have been quite lucky to catch them off guard in such a way i did no such thing i fought them fairly it's not my fault they lost. Hmm. Well. Now, the slavers have no custom with me, but the City Watch does. So, the death of any of the mages in the Watch, of course, does tend to cut into my profitability a bit. But... So not to be racist and go after the pointy ears. They attacked me first. They made that mistake. Anyone else that does will meet the same fate. Noted. So discourage them from attacking the pointy ears. I'll be quite sure. Well... Gentlemen, the hour is getting late, and I certainly don't wish to keep you any longer. You don't want to be walking through the slums after dark, although, given the way you comport yourselves, perhaps that wouldn't be much of a problem. We'll be back if we find anything else that may be of interest. Of course, of course. Anything you wanted to say there? Marius. No, uh, uh, apparently he uh, just kind of passed on by my my request for comments, and I will uh, bid him adieu. <laughs> uh, what was your request for comments? Oh, I'd, I'd mentioned before the cutover uh, whether he knew of anyone that was uh, oh, of, oh, of oh. the stature of... You know, oh, yeah, okay. I'm sorry. I'm, yeah, I, yeah. My, DM's mistake there. Sorry. Okay. DM's no worries. Um, I just figured he ignored me, which uh, is fine. Same. You are. <laughs> why, why do you think I'm so acerbic to this man? <laughs> you are seeking to expand your knowledge of the cosmos, my friend? It is. It is my purpose in life. So, yes, I am. Why did you not say so? I think there is much you could learn from me. Of course, 
standard guild rates must apply. I hear you. And and uh, as you know, I have the funds. <laughs> but of course. <clears throat> oh, no, not with those gems. I don't take gems. <laughs> <laughs> a joke, my friend, a joke. I kind of laugh a little bit, then stop laughing abruptly. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Giancarlo Esposito. <laughs> exactly. Yes. <laughs> oh, you don't take gems. Congratulations. I take fingers. All right. So he's, uh, yeah. Is it, if you are willing to learn, I am willing to teach. If you're capable of teaching, I'm willing to pay to learn. Uh, so, uh, I have a feeling we could go back and forth like this all night, but yes, that's uh, that probably wouldn't serve any of our purpose, though. <laughs> when, when do you wish to begin your next journey and your step along the cosmic path? I uh, I'm willing to start today, now, tomorrow, ten minutes from now. You pick. What is your availability? Uh, I do have some. Uh, pending events coming in the near future, so uh, the future is now for me. Okay. Um, he says, uh, well, let us begin upon the evening. I will bid you adieu. Uh, I didn't catch your name there, good elf. I uh, say I'm Maria Cecil, and uh, I'm I'm very happy to meet you, and I'll put my hand out in the standard gesture for shaking. If All that's right, he, if that's something he knows, yeah, he shakes your hand. Uh, he was actually talking to Sir Standard there. When oh, he said, I'm sorry. <laughs> he, he, you're you're not, uh, well, it's uh, but Sir Standard is uh, what? Is, what is your name, my friend? They call me Standard. No one gets my true name. Of course, a wise decision. All right, so um, he essentially politely, I should point out, politely with a capital O, lightly, uh, shoes you out of the shop, Sir Standard. Um, it, it is the evening, uh, so you're going to make your way back to the slum, correct? Uh, correct. Um, Marius, what are your instructions as far as your extra wealth? Are you bringing it with you or am I bringing it back? No, I'm giving it to you. Okay. So that would be 4,695 gold, but okay. most of it's gems, right? So 4,695. Uh, you keep the 95 for yourself. That's probably a good idea. I like that nice will be broke numbers. except for a handful of silver and copper other. Yeah, correct. So yeah, I'll right. take I'll, I'll I'll take the the gross in gems and um There's also platinum in that. That's okay. 84 platinum, but yeah. So I, I, all right. Um so I'll take I'll take that back and I'll be especially paranoid on my way <laughs> out of town. I'd hate to get robbed or at least if I am, they're not going to take me alive. Well. Uh, it is uh, actually not a dangerous walk back to the uh, the slums. Um, you encounter no one. Meanwhile, Marius, uh, he leads you through a beaded curtain in the back, uh, smiling politely. He points to like a niche that has a a blanket in it. There's a like a, a candle stub in a in a saucer. On a on a ledge. Please be seated. I'll take my seat. He produces a book that's like half the size of his torso and just drops it on you and says, Read the first 88 suras. I will see you in the morning. <laughs> sure thing, boss. I'll uh <laughs> I'll be very careful with your tome. All right, so you will be training uh, for the for the week that Vrug is is training to be a fighter, that uh, Grimsby is training to be a thief. Um, roll your hit points. Okay, that's a D four. 
Yeah, unfortunately it is. And I I have uh, no constitution bonus. So it, it is just the raw roll. Same. Let's see. Hey, you have the same percentage chance of hitting. Th that's not bad. No, I'll, I'll take it. That puts me at 14. Nice roll. There you go. Okay. Uh, yeah, and after after he leaves, Yancey like clamors out of your the your pack or whatever and says, "I don't like him, Papa." <laughs> uh, yeah. He uh, he concerns me as well, but uh, I can't be too picky in this environment. I yeah. say, uh, mm -hmm. maybe tonight you can tell me why after I get through my studies. All right. Uh, are you going from fourth to fifth or third to fourth? I forget. Third to fourth. Third to fourth. Okay. Uh, so, no, you do not get another weapons proficiency yet. Um, yeah. Finishing your studies, you know, he told you the first, what I say, 88 suras or whatever it was. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That he, he is back down and you are seeing sunlight shining under the front door. By the time you're finishing that up. Damn. Yeah. Harsh. Um, are there any, uh, what, what's, first of all, what spell do you wish to add? Uh, I'm actually going to have to look. I haven't prepped that. Okay. Uh, Thinking so I think one. there's two second spells or one first and one second. I got, I, I need to look at the player's side book here. Uh, going to fourth level magic user. That is, uh, fourth. You are going to be three, two. Yes. Yes. And you will be a fear just when all is said and done. So for these, I just get to pick these two spells and I know them or how, how does it work? I get one first and one second, basically. Right. Well, no, I mean, the number of spells you can cast goes up, but you literally just pick one spell to add. Right. Right. Okay. Yeah. At each level. I get you. Okay. And then you have to roll to see, do you successfully learn it or not? Yeah. Yeah, right. He, he basically, like like the last few suras are spell lists, if you will, in this guy's book, and you you can pick one and see if you can know it. So, I think in this you case, can also. Go ahead. I'm sorry, but is this correct? You can also um, re-roll if you, if one you want you previously weren't able to learn. You can re-roll that one. Correct. That is correct. Every there. time you gain a level. Uh huh. Okay. I'm going oh. to use, I'm going to try to learn mirror image if I All can. Right. Okay. That is a percentage die. Right. I have, oh, well, it doesn't say I have a 16 int. The, the sheet doesn't tell me what my percentage is, even though it um, should. Your int, your int is the same as mine. Your no spell percentage is 65%. All right. So I'm going to roll percent for this. Okay. I didn't realize our ints matched. That's funny. Come on, man. This is a yeah. good one. Six. I think I got it. There you go. Nice. Yeah. Like, oh, yes. Okay. So you've got mirror image recognized. Uh, memorized. Any <laughs> recognition. Hey, oh, my ready to go. 50 people watching the stream. Guys, if you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up. Uh, and if you're not already done so please click the subscribe button that's super helpful too feed so the is... algorithm <laughs> yes <laughs> and if you are new here and you're just subscribed please remember that it is uh it, it is considered traditional to say hi if you've never commented in the chat before that's not an algorithm feeding thing i just like to i just like to say hey to people all right so training happens, you guys get back together. Um, some of the slaves that you guys have freed, uh, if you have 
uh, the desire to, you may take them to the uh, uh, the edge of of Highport, you know, away from everyone, and they will try to make their way back to their homes. But if you insist that they stay, that's fine too. Where are they trying to go? Uh, some of them are well, almost all of them are from up the wild coast uh, to to the north, like to towards the Narlay, uh, towards uh, Greyhawk and its environs, and so on. Um, that is in that direction, not necessarily from there. Uh, <clears throat> and the ones who say that they can go are all headed in that direction. Would it be better to escort them to Barnicus then? Would that be easier for them? They will absolutely listen to your guidance on the matter. They're not like getting impatient with you and insisting. They just, they basically, they ask if it's safe to do so. Oh, well, no, that's my question is, would it be, would it make their travel easier if we escorted them to Barnicus? Is that like on the way? Yes, that is, that is north of, that is north of Highport. So, yeah. Okay. Um, Party, what do you think? Do we, do we want to spare just a little time here? Get these people out of our hair and at the same time, um, report in and let our um, employers just kind of know what's going on. Man, I'm thirsty for blood already and we wasted too much time. I mean, yeah, we spin it, right? I got this guy here. I just picked up this dog off the street. He looks mm -hmm. like a capable warrior. The t t Tarth or some crap like that. But it, these guys is already out of my hair. Whatever they do from here, hey man, we gave them freedom, right? Let's get in the fight. Grimsby, what do you think? I'm not in for the blood, but I think there's still money in there. So I want to go back. I, there's no reason why we can't go back in is my point. But I'm just saying, why not just drop them off? Because but, there's money there now. Yeah, Let's go. All right. Let's have them... Um, I get I gesture to my fellows and say, "There's the vote. Um, you will have to wait unless you want to, you know, try your luck on your own." Um, they will uh, again. They will follow your lead. They, they are all still exceptionally grateful that they're not in that slave pit. Um, some of the some of the folk, uh, men and women, both have like been able to with help of the fighters like they they bought some cloth and so on so that they you know done homespun and that sort of thing so they're 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 better clothed than they were um so yeah they they will, they will absolutely uh wait it out here for you guys yeah man they're doing fine look at them they're actually being useful for once where Duran, Duran, make him up some food or something, man. Good night, Wheeling. Let him, let him sit on that. And what about what about this Tark guy here? What do you guys think? Well, I think welcome to the party, and I've already like congratulated you on achieving your level. And what'd you do with Marius? Where's he at? Oh, uh, Marius is there also. I'm over here. Oh, there behind you. you. Got back. Yeah, you, you couldn't see him behind a couple uh, behind a couple of conversating slaves there. Yeah, um, there was a, there was a small right. fence post in the way. <laughs> but yeah, I think we should uh, continue on our with our investigation. There's not much to report back yet, so I don't see why we're going yeah. back to. Yeah, already. It'd be interesting if I don't know what's in the basement because those weird bug things. We find out more about that. That's something to report back to. Them. Mm. I was kind of hoping they had some bug spray, personally. You know, some tick Isn't killer. That that wand you got? That's bug spray. Do what? The wand you got? Fireball wand? That's your. Yeah, there's only one problem with that. You want to die? No. I don't want to. I'll, I'll be behind you. That yeah. Uh huh. I don't want to use it down there. <laughs> 
Well, Tarth, yeah, I guess you're in. I mean, if yeah, you don't Garth. mind listening to this kind of stuff regularly, <laughs> you know, because uh, I get tired of it, but, you know. If well, the well, the just the yeah. and get moving. Who's the you one can't. talking now? The captain stand and says, Tis but good banter amongst comrades and friends. <laughs> Slaps you on the shoulder, rude. <laughs> Man, John, we got to have a talk sometime. <laughs> <laughs> of course, my friend, uh, as fellow warriors should. Perhaps you, myself, and Tarth, uh, nose rage here, all over a mug of ale when, when yonder fouled temple is cleansed and we, we, have, we have dealt with these, these horrible beings. There'll be mugs in between, but yeah, our thirds, our swords thirst for blood. Indeed. Let us slain to be done. Let's go back uh, at nightfall and sneak in the back way. Sound good? Should we send uh, Grimsby up um, like first? And like we kind of hang behind that, that corner? The way I understand it, there's like a corner there and it opens into a courtyard, right? And if Grimsby like walk i don't feel like getting ambushed by the morks again you know what i mean um but real talk we did just skip over a week here we could afford the, somebody else leveling couldn't we or no i think there was plenty for for that um because there was an additional 4600 here we'd have the week yeah so like if, if someone if else can level needed, they could if standard needed 1600 it's easily in there I, I don't know if there's enough for, for Duran if we take the 1600 out. Well, I would rather right. Duran, but Duran didn't want to level, right? I, I don't but know. I if didn't want to. It's just I couldn't at the, point, at the yeah. time I was asked. There was no okay, time. well, if you want if you want to, there it is. Well, is it, is it enough? Oh, what's the party thing? I still need... Uh, I still need... Uh, he needs a total of forty five hundred, and there's forty six, right? right or there. or six thousand. He needs six thousand, and he's got twelve, twelve something sitting around. Twenty twenty thirty three is what he said. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, and but yeah. There's there's so, forty. There there's there's the remainder right there. Yeah. All right. Which would leave almost enough for for standard level, just a little um, less than than half. Well, then, right. uh, well, well, in standard, sold something as well, you know. Well, <laughs> yeah, that's that's yeah. Um, that's I true. still that, that's why I need the sixteen hundred oh, okay. because I sold something. Um, so, I don't imagine there's a suitable church or in um, Highport. You would have to try and find a temple, and then basically let ask them to let you sanctify part of their temple for bacab and yeah that that is that is basically what you're what you're paying for you're you're pining to re-sanctify part of their church uh okay well i'll go look for is there any i'll keep my nose out for a temple of some sort along the way of uh okay My nose down. Alrighty. So you would need. So, to be clear, do you need six thousand a level, or do you need seven thousand five hundred a level? Well, it would be the six for the four levels, and then another fifteen for the fifth level. You only pay. You only pay for the levels you have. Okay, then I only need six. Okay, so then. I need four thousand. Okay, so then that would leave 2,600, which would be enough for me to level as well and give 1,000 back to um, to uh, Marius. So, Marius, you can take your 1,000 in gems back, and I can level as well if the DM will allow it. I'm leveling fighter, not magic user. Okay, so there's um, 
as as you're going into high port there um there is uh are are, are you just going by yourself uh uh well, unless somebody wants to come yeah sure i guess i can go on oh I ask somebody if they want to pray i'm sure they could pray to their gods as well i can escort you there on my way to leveling there we go okay so when uh, I hit the, the temple, yeah. I, I'm sorry, go ahead. I said, so when I get to the temple, I just want to look for the rector and then. Uh, rector Hill liked to kill him. Um, so there's a, uh, like, as you approach the city gates in amongst the rabble, uh, there's a fellow, you're not sure if he's watching you or not. He's just kind of generally glancing in the direction you came fairly ordinary looking cloak around him seems to stand out just a little bit more than everyone else, but he's not interfering with your, with your passage as you, as you go along. I'll just nod on my way by and then keep an eye and make sure he's not following me. He, he nods to you. He actually makes the sign of Bokab at you. Oh, and I return it. Okay. Good day, sir. What are you doing in this neck of the woods? I have my business I go about. Oh, I'm sure, I'm sure. Don't mean to pry. Not at all. And how fare you this fine day, Father? Oh, I'm fine, fine. I'm just, out, just taking a stroll, looking for... A appropriate place to pray. Would you happen to know of any uh, locations in this godforsaken town? <laughs> Many gods have forsaken High Port, but uh, there are a few. Although I'm not sure how welcome welcoming they would be. Uh, there is a. Uh, there's a large contingent of Hextor worshippers in in the city yonder. I can only imagine. You, my friend, uh, you could do worse than to seek out perhaps one of the gods of both law and evil. Um, they might uh, they they might permit your entry onto their uh, uh, onto their fane. Might. Well, could you? Perhaps point me in the direction I should be. I could find this. You. Any kind of back and forth between it? Yeah. Uh, I don't recognize you. You're both new to to the the uh, the town, are you not? Oh, uh, traveling through. I see. Not many travelers come to uh, come to Highport unless they're looking for very specific things. Like I said, I'm looking for a place to pray. I thought I could possibly... You may find yourself praying exactly where you stand, depending on who you encounter in this uh, in this place, Sunny Jim. I nod to my companions. Uh, I'm well taken care of. I see. I see. That is, uh, that is good, and that is wise. And speaking of wisdom, he points through, he goes... There's what appears to be an abandoned house. Go two streets through the main gate, turn left, turn left again, knock at the door thrice, then twice. My dog's dying. Sounds. Sounds like you're going to die. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I look at uh, Standard and I'll kind of give him a weird look like. Hmm. May as well. All you can do is trust him. All right. Thank you, good sir. I bid you do. And you. Okay. Uh, Look over my shoulder. Is he like checking us out as we're on our way out? He just he's looking back, you know, chewing on a bit of straw. Hmm. Appear like anybody's following us in the distance as we're going after we make that first left. Uh, no, no one's following you. Uh, I mean, there are commoners in the street, but no one is paying you any particular attention. 
Um, so you go, you knock on the door, and very briefly you find yourself in a uh, uh, a a building. There is a very prominent hole in the roof, and there are road motifs everywhere. There are paintings of winding roads, that sort of thing. Uh, and given the chanting that's going on, you suspect you are in a temple of Farlangan. At least we're in the right place. Uh, yes, my son. Uh, good evening, Father. I make a sign of Volkov to him. I was like, I was wondering if I could use uh, your the space for a ceremony. Mm, what ceremony is it you wish? Well, I need to level up. I'm uh, able to achieve a new rank, and I would like to use a part of your temple to achieve this. Sanctify it. Can I have your confidence? You will not reveal. There are parties in here who do, they're within the walls of the city who do not follow the stride of the wanderer. Uh, yes, you have my word. I'll keep your... All right. He will take your tithe and help guide you, uh, at least through the physical parts of your studies, while you do the spiritual part. Uh, uh, I guess all your... Water and cleanse yeah. it and do whatever... You want me to roll the... Yeah, go ahead and roll your D8 for your hits. Big numbers. Oh, good enough. Oh, that totally... Five. It almost was eight. It almost was. Okay. So, again, a week passes. You train. Um, and you return to the party, having leveled up. I lost five pounds. Uh, thank you, Zen. Good. Let's get the hell out of here. Oh, yeah. We've been so waiting after... forever, man. No, I ain't still... got any money to drink. Not it's... even to piss. It still would have been the same week, Rube. Yeah. Man, I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, cool. <laughs> cool, you're... you're lucky I censor myself on this stream. Rolls up his sleeve. Okay, Rube. The big hand is on the 12. And the little uh -huh. to the 2. All right. Um, so everybody that can train has trained. You've debated what to do. What are you guys going to do? Okay. So you are letting me level then, DM? Uh, yes. Cool. I'll roll my hit points and divide by two. Okay. We can go. We can go ahead. Well, I can. I can level as we talk. So let's go. Okay. I wish I had back hands. Uh, are you leveling as major as fighter? <laughs> Oh, I would hit you if I could. Fighter. All right. You just got to go see this, the, the the people that uh, that you saw with Vrug and go through the same Exactly. Process, so. Yeah. I know. I suggest, uh, Grimsby suggests that uh, we sneak in the back door like before in the middle of the night, like before. Grimsby, go first. Scope it out uh, in case there's more uh, orcs around. And this time he'll check for that trap, so Rook doesn't hit it again. <laughs> okay. Make sure duck this time, Rook. Man, I smash that thing. Just duck on anyways. <laughs> yeah. Every time I go in and out, I smash it more. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Grimsby, you do not find a trap. Um, <laughs> so not sure if that's that uh, makes me feel better that he says I do not well. find a trap. <laughs> I open up the, the so we're at the secret door. Uh, looks clear. I'll go in. Uh, all right. Um, yeah. So give. Uh, yeah. You can find the catch for the secret door. Uh, there doesn't happen to be anyone marching along the wall right now. And in short order, the seven of you find yourselves in the ten foot deep, five foot wide space. Um, that, and there is a door on the other side of that. Well, there is a blank wall, but Grimsby, you know, it's yep. a secret door. You can find the catch. I'll check that for traps. Because that's the trap that keeps hitting. Okay. 
Oh, you don't find any traps. Okay. Come on, Verg. It's safe. <laughs> and he slows back and lets Verg open it. All right. All right. Yeah. I heard that before, Athlin. Give me an open doors, please. <laughs> it's a it's the traditional miss before the Meg. <laughs> yeah, you're like, ah, ah. It's almost like there's something tied to it on the other side that's holding it shut. But I'm sure if you just yank it harder, it will spring open. Man, these doors be stuck down here. I point out the push word. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I put up and just uh, use other door. You do drag it open, and it is not trapped. They have not put the trap back. Fantastic. Uh, what is our goal here? Should we go straight to downstairs? There is a uh, place further north, if you will, that we never investigated. Right. Where did it? Uh, where did it open up to? Um, you know, to to bigger areas. Rather than being confined to this five foot wide passageway, which um, is really find, irritating. You didn't find any wider hallways really un uh, until you got in the lower levels. Now the stable was open up. But obviously, that's because it's a you know it's a stable full of horses. But between the stables uh, on the west side and uh, stairs going down to the sewers on the east. There was a long corridor that went straight north. I'm saying north because it's on top of my map, north. Um, and we never went down there. And did we clear out that area where we had to, that we just came from, where we crossed the log and went down into that passageway, fought the undead? The other ones, you know, were yeah. up, I, presumably on the level above that. We yes. cleared all of that. As far as you, as far as you know, uh, you have slain all of the foes that stand between you and where the giant sun do was. So what your map say, Grimsby? Well, that's what I'm saying is we go past where the plant was. Um, and we either go downstairs to see if there's more bugs and slaves down there, or we go straight north and find out what's up there. Yeah. What do you think? Let's go straight north. Right behind you. Uh, right, so it's a long way between here and there. Grimsby will yes, scout out ahead honestly, very carefully. Okay. Right, okay, so I'll be behind uh, Grimsby, sorry. And then uh, what's the rest of you guys like behind me in order? I will um, be right behind you. I'll, be, I'll let uh, the other fighters go first. Fourth. Third. Fourth. I guess maybe John brings up the rear or something. No, I was letting John go in front of me. Right. Well, I think I got uh, Tarth behind me, yep. and then uh, and then the cleric, and then John, and then you. Short. Short. Uh, all right. And then Miss I guess Marius. I'll, uh, I'll <laughs> just just wander in between somewhere. Um, Marius, would you rather go in between me and John? That way, if something comes from behind, they don't get you. Uh, yeah. I although you know. I'm not terribly defenseless. So who who is lowest on hit points? Me. The guy in front. <laughs> well, I'll put him in front then. <laughs> I, I'm the scout. If, uh, you're, okay. if, if you're as quiet as I am, then that freaking chainmail of yours, you go in front. I'm happy to do that. Yeah, what well, you got boots of elven kind, Mark? Yeah, and just naturally I'm quieter than people in lousy metal armor. So uh, I'll stay go. back there. So I can do my sneaking. Yeah, but I think you have a, an item too, don't you? Yes, I, I do. I do. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and half lane, nineteen decks, all that stuff. Yeah, yeah. So I all scout right. and then run back screaming when I find something. <laughs> Remember that, the that is, that is the order of operations we have. And what he means when he finds something, literally anything. That Unless is it's money. gold, then I don't come back. <laughs> right. If it's not money, he's running screaming. Yes. If he's, he's gonna, gone for longer than 20 minutes, we go in after him. Yeah. He's got to put like a lead and a harness on that. Anyway. I wanted uh, to, but they said it was cruel and unusual punishment. <laughs> All right. So let's see. He started screaming about something about how the rope hurt, how, how the rope hurts him. <laughs> screaming my <laughs> precious over and over again. It burns. 
Gurdji remembers that there are, is at least one white maybe still floating around around here. So he's going to be careful. All right. So you make it to the, uh, through the, to the ghoul gassed room, Grimsby, yep. uh, and you do not encounter anything. That is good. I'll kind of signal for the rest of the party to catch up. All right. Um, the group moves up. And then if my map shows the big door, a bit of twist and turn, I go, I think, up some stairs to the room with the, the log across the hole in the ground. Uh, the plank, yes, but... Yeah. Um, but yes, you can uh, you can definitely mosey on up that way as you like. Yep. Again, well, these are very narrow corridors. Uh, who is using light sources, by the way? Because uh, I know there's at least a couple of humans in the party who require it. Who has torches and so on? Yeah, I got the hood's lantern. I have the torches. Humans can worry about this. All right. Okay, and so you guys, uh, you're crossing over the log. The now you got me doing it. The plank. Yes. All right. Okay. Um, it is it is sturdy it is frightening crossing it but you um you manage all to make it across and then i believe we go down some corridors and then downstairs to where the plant was so we walk the plank yes you walk the plank yep yes so you find yourself in the sundew room and the uh, destroyed remains of the giant sundew plant are there along the wall, but there is nothing thus far that you have encountered. Uh, there is a door on the right side of the northern wall in this room. Gotcha. Um, let's go through that. All right. Who's going to open that door? That'd be Vroog's job. Stand aside. Two time Vroog. Not this time, man. Told you. Yeah, push. open it. Okay. All right. You push it open, and there are no patrols or anything in the hall beyond. You have the hall to your left that you suspect leads to the stables if your memory serves. Yeah. And of course, it goes far to the north into the darkness. And and maybe there, right there, or down the corridor smidge is a corridor to the right, I believe, that eventually leads down to the basement. Uh-huh. Okay. So I'll scout just straight up north. Um, I'll, I'll go about 60 to 90 feet out in front of the party and okay. see what I see. Um, so you are 60 feet... 70 feet, 80 feet, 90 feet. At the 90 foot mark, about 95 feet, um, the corridor turns sharply to the west. And you can see that it goes about 20 feet down and then stops um, on the left and right as you go west. That is on the north and south sides. Uh, you see doorways directly opposite one another. Grimsby will go down and listen at the north door. All right. Roll. Uh, roll my hair noise, Jack. Yeah, roll, roll, roll to hear. Uh, sorry, my, my uh, dice thing has died. Up there. Um, uh, didn't hear a damn thing. Quiet as a mouse. Yes. I will now... Fail in the same fashion on this door. Self door check. <laughs> I I also 
nothing here. <laughs> I, I head back to the party and let them know what I found, or in this case, did not find. Let's roll up there and smash them open. Yep, let's go and uh, let's go. What, left or right? I don't know. What do you think, Farouk? Yeah, well, what's 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 closest to the outside? What goes deeper in? Um, the one going south leads back the way we came, in a sense. Um, the other one goes further out. Let's let's check uh, the south door first. Which is yeah, up. I agree. We don't want nothing coming up from the rear. Yep. Plus, we can, yeah, maybe we'll have the benefit of surprise. Have you heard? I'll open that south door. <laughs> All right, uh, give me an open doors roll check there, please. Vroog. does not budge. So All right, the element of surprise. Oh, we're now, it, right. it creaks open. This is an open area. It was obviously once the cemetery for the temple compound. It's now overgrown with weeds, gnarled bushes, and dying trees. Stone markers and small crypts can be seen at some points through the overgrowth. Paths twist through the cemetery, and some show signs of recent use. Everything seems gray in color here. The grass is gray-green. The soil is dusty gray. The stone markers are brown and gray. A feeling of oppression hangs over the entire cemetery. Nope. I don't want to talk about No. Let's spike this door shut and go to the north. Yeah, I say we spike nope. it. Nope. Let's see. <laughs> Does ah, someone on. have a spike? Spikes anyone? Yeah, I'll give you one. Okay, I take a spike. I drive it in. That door gets closed. Okay, that door gets closed. So you have the just for now. The yeah. northern. Don't. All right. Well, was I suppose it, I'll bust that inside. open. What was it? Don't dead. Go. All right. What do I, what do I draw? That? Door open. Dead inside. Chalk it open. out. All right, you force that door, and the party is uh, mildly surprised. Um, Grimsby, you're not at all surprised. Uh, but when you force the door, uh, this ramshackle building is cluttered with a variety of tools and junk. Or, sorry, tools and junk. Uh, there are hammers, chisels, axe handles, slabs of stone, and warped boards. The walls are covered with many different types of holy symbols, some of evil and some of good religions. Most of these look as if they have been pegged or nailed in place. Crouched around a dim and sputtering lantern are six orcs nervously fingering their halberds uh, and looking about. They jump to their feet. Uh, form kind of a defensive line, and one points uh, his halberd at Brug and says, Hey, what you do here? I belong here. They didn't tell you. Oh, you know how it is. No one tells us a thing. The big bosses do their meat trade and leave us to guard the haunted places. Well, they call me a medium boss. I believe you're under me. Right. He points at the uh, the rest of the group and says, "Who are they?" Um, I'm gonna lean in to Marius and ask him, "Do you want to, or should I?" Uh, I have it. <laughs> yeah, I have it too. So, do okay. you want to? Or sh yeah, I guess. Uh, I'll cast sleep. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Um, so you're beginning uh, that. Uh, what is it? Vroog, you hear uh, magic words being mumbled behind you. What are you doing? Uh, yeah, well, I mean, I suppose it's on. <laughs> you know, I'll draw my sword. Act as natural <laughs> as you can until they all pass out. <laughs> uh, too right. late for that. No, yeah, this is natural. Um, Tim, what is Tarth doing? 
You see uh, near you, one of the magic users is starting to cast a spell. Readying my shield. Readying your shield. How about, uh, so Marius is casting sleep. Mark, how about Grimsby? Uh, Grimsby's going to just sneak into the room around one of the corners of the door. All right, so you're moving in this round. Yes. Um, let's see. Uh, how about Sir Standard? You're just kind of watching an amusement. I'm twiddling my thumbs. All righty, and that leaves uh, that leaves uh, me. Deron. What is Deron doing? I'm getting out of their way. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's go ahead and roll initiative, and we will start with uh, we will start with Doom Sword. That's a D6, please. Nice. The orcs absolutely don't see this coming. Uh, so roll 2d4 if you would, please. You're talking uh, to me? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, okay. Are you talking to me? It's seven. Okay. They all collapse to the floor. <laughs> they're 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 lamenting their the state of the situation. They're like, hey. What's he do? Oh, thud, 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 thud. I guess we'll see how Tar feels about the dirty work. <laughs> Time to go up and start cutting some throats. New orcs on the floor. We can't leave them alive. We must kill them so they can't yeah. follow us. Take this, you brigands. Uh, John strides into the room and, and uh, uh, coup de gras, gras is one of them. Yeah, they're all dead. I mean, that's that's the intent. Okay. Two daggers uh, are waiting. Of note, um, each of them has five gold pieces, so that is a grand total of 20 gold pieces. And, like, these guys are festooned with holy symbols. There's, like, <laughs> Some that you don't. There's one that's just like this this black spiral. There's another that's like it's a it's a Y shaped rune in the middle of a square. There's um or a rather a triangle. Uh, there there's a couple of Farlangen, some of Bokob. Uh, but each of them has uh, one of their holy symbols for each of them are uh, silver. And very, very fancy looking. In fact, Grimsby, you would probably place that at about the 40 gold piece value for each of their silver. So that's, um, that is a total. Uh, I'm sorry, go ahead. You said there were six of them or four of them? There are six of them. I take one of them, take a look at it in my hand. Do I recognize any of them? Like, uh, some of them you don't, but the one that you the uh, you there is a holy symbol of Bokob there. Well, clearly, they don't worship to him. These must be taken off of their victims. Either that, or they're really afraid of that that graveyard over there. <laughs> They'll take any help. There's not they can one get. with, say, like two snakes coming together, facing each other. <laughs> Standard, but no, unfortunately not. Damn. Um, yeah. So yeah, he has the the eye within a pentagram uh, symbol of Bokob. Um, get, and there are there are similar symbols all over the walls here. And given how twitchy these guys seemed, um, they might have been afraid of something. Given what you guys have encountered, do you suspect you know? <laughs> Mm -hmm. Grimsby will collect the, the coin and the, the, all the holy holy symbols, the ones that looked. Uh, yeah, why well, not? Should, should no we... other doors out of this room? Uh, yes, there are double doors to the north. Ah, thank you. Let's go check that out. I'll For listen sure. To the doors. Listen. Mm -hmm. Might we back out into that graveyard? Shall I roll my ear check? Uh, yes, roll your, your listening. I hear everything. You hear crickets. Great. Chirping of crickets on the other One side. One time I succeed. 
Let's see. <laughs> Let's open this door, Rude. All right. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna stoop down a bit and get the shoulder ready and give it a good run. You know, right. from from ten feet away or something. Try to blast through it and keep my feet about me. Okay. Roll it. That's an open. Okay, you fo force the door open, and you are standing uh, outside of the temple come slave uh, market. Uh, and let's see. Let's have a quick gander at something here. There is no one on the wall above at this moment. Um, but yeah, you're in the front of the building. Hey, it's outside. Let's close it up real quick. Secure yeah. it. I'll pull them back shut. Okay. I guess let's Doors go downstairs. Speak. Where to, <clears throat> oh mighty adventurers? I suggest we go back down where we found those limbs. Which would be back down the long hallway, then go towards the east, and I think around the corner there's a staircase going down. So Lead the way. Okay, we'll do it. So Grimsby heads off uh, down the long corridor. All right. And there's a passage on my left that should lead around a corner to a staircase leading down. Uh, it does. It does. Um, so you're, are you going down the staircase yourself, Grimsby? I'll wait for everyone to catch up, and then I will go down the staircase. Okay. okay. When everyone catches up, I will scout downstairs. I'll we'll give them the lead. Yep. All righty. And you're walking, and you're walking, and you are not all those. You are out ahead of the party. Yep. So you are moving nice and quietly. Uh, you are not surprised by the presence of uh, two bug men standing in that chamber where you had encountered bug men before. They... are moderately surprised by you. You have one segment to act. What do you wish to do? Uh, run back to the party. So you're going to turn and run. So in, a, in a, a segment, you can move 12 feet. So you basically, you make it about halfway up the stairs. Roll initiative. Fantastic. I got a two. You got a six. Uh, so, yeah, you finish uh, as you hear the clatter clump of, of their feet as they are uh, moving towards you um, creepily and silently, these bug men. Um, they are two side by side. And up front, we have, hang on, where did my thing? Uh, Grimsby, you can kind of duck away. Vrug and Tarth, you guys are on point as these things uh, see you and move up. Uh, each of them is armed with uh, two swords and two shields. They have six arms. They're like giant upright weevils. And if anyone casted uh, no alignment on them, you might find out that they are chaotic weevils. <laughs> so, so six arms, but only four are occupied? A sword in each, and a shield in well, each, and then two yeah, spare arms. On their hind legs, and it's like right. sword, shield, sword. So okay. they kind of clattering forward at you guys. Um, and so let's go down the line. Dooms, what is Vrug doing? Okay, so they're on the stairs. I'm at the landing of the stairs, correct? Uh, correct. Okay, so I have a little bit of a height advantage. I'm going to stand tall. my ground. They're tall, but they're narrow, so two of them can can uh, move up. Um, I'm in so melee go. range. 
Uh, yeah, yeah, we're we're talking melee here. Right, right. So I'm going to attack from my uh, from my higher vantage point here. Okay, and uh, Kevin, how about Marius? You, um, Papa, squash them. Take off your shoe and squash them, Papa. <laughs> yeah, it, if somebody's there, I'm going to let it go. Otherwise, uh, I'll throw darts. Uh, so you, if they're in melee, then I'm definitely not throwing darts. Yeah, you would be throwing them straight into melee. Yeah, I'm not doing that then. So I'm going to hang out for a little bit. I'll move forward a little bit. Okay, Mark, I'm assuming Grimsby is finding the shortest possible path between and behind people's legs. He's already back at the tavern. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so Dur uh, Mobius, how about Duran? Yeah, I'm moving in for melee too if uh, there's room for me. Um, well, right now in the front ranks, you've got uh, Vrug and Tarth, but you All can right. move up to cover them. Yep. I will. Uh, John grips your shoulder and says, Stand fast, father. We cannot let these horrible creatures overwhelm us. I will fight alongside you. The gods will protect us. I uh, told you about that, John. <laughs> My apologies, broke. Clap. Uh, okay, <laughs> Sir Standard. <laughs> what, uh, Thane Kyle, what is Sir Standard going to be doing? Y'all humans talk too much. I'm going to advance um, and put my spear through one of them. I can reach over people's heads. Yes, uh, you can strike from second rank. And finally, Timothy, you're toe-to-toe -to -toe with Bugman. What are you going to do? Taking my sword in one hand and shield in the other and fighting with Vrug. Woohoo! All right. Vrug, Tarth draws his sword and attacks you. Oh, that's yeah, not what you do for fighting with Vrug. Right. <laughs> okay. On uh, the same side as, not, not stabbing him, no. <laughs> Let's see what you're made of, dog. Now, Jeremy wants to know where the tenors are. Well, Jeremy, you know how to contact me. I'm sure the party could do with a bard. <laughs> Jeremy's a buddy of mine from uh, from way back. He played in the Monday Night AD and D games. Good to see you in the audience. All right, uh, let's roll initiative. And uh, I think we got down to. I, I think there was just one initiative roll last time. That's right. Um, so Kevin, roll a d6. Oh, son of a one. Yeah. Is only a suspicious. Yeah, of course. All right. Called. Hey, at least we're not surprised. Ten ores, anyone? All right. Uh, so these two are at Vrug. One misses, one hits. Um, so negative one. Just to be certain that you're clear on that. Sure, that's fine. Uh, you get to party with Mr. Longsword and take three points of damage. And these two are likewise aimed at uh, Tarth. This one's a little Tarth. Uh, let me see. I That's one of those lovely edge cases, and we all know how much I enjoy those, so I need to see how many the Bugman have. And by the way, if anyone has never seen an illustration of an Aspis, A-S-P-I-S, in AD&D, and you don't want to Google it up, then I will show it after the... Uh, after the the live stream tonight let's see come on come on where is this critter at there it is okay all right so that's a all right can you spell that a s p i s that's why and uh, yes, that was uh, that was a hit on Tim's character. So have a sword. Have two points of damage. Counterattacks. That's going to be sword, sword, spear. All right, I'll go ahead and make my attack. Yeah, that's an easy hit. And this is versus large. Despite the fact Sweet. that they're, down, they're still like a, like a, a head taller than you. A head. Remember, these are bugs. Right. All right. That'll be a total of ten points of damage from my All sword. Right. Clicks its mandibles angrily. Uh, Tim, over to you. Roll a d twenty, please. A 
A17, a telling blow. For those in the Discord, I posted it in the fantasy art section. Excellent. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, that is going to be a D12, Tim. All right, a mighty blow. Okay, and a spear thrust, I think, is coming up from uh, Sir Standard there. Yep, uh, that'll hit. That will definitely hit. You guys are... And you said you these guys are large, is that right? Uh, yes, this is this is versus large. Large. Okay, uh, well, all right, uh, eight total. Tarth has a strength bonus to damage, right? Being that he has a 16. Yes. You can add that in the die roller. I mean, I didn't see it accounted for, so I wanted to point it out. Bonus tab there. No, that is not it. Not the correct thing that I clicked on there. That is what I meant to post up. Uh, yeah, that, that link won't take you anywhere, <laughs> Jonathan. Uh, but anyway, uh, there it is. For those of you who are asking about the Discord, there's the link. Yeah. <laughs> like, Wait a minute. This isn't Discord at all. <laughs> all right. Uh, so they are going to um, swing their swords at you guys. I'm guessing you're going to continue stabulating. Do any of our magic users uh, or any of our spell casters or folks not up front to melee have anything to do? Mobius, is Deron casting any spells? I know not at the moment. Okay. Neither Kevin, is Marius. Marius? Yeah. No. All right. Uh, let's roll initiative. And uh, I think it is uh, Kevin's. Uh, I'm sorry. It is Mobius's turn for initiative. Okie dokie. I got a three. But they're bugs with six legs. That should give me an 18. Five. <laughs> Party goes first. Uh, let's let's see some attacky attacky. That is a hit, sir. Look at the hits on that one. Furious racing. All right. Um, next up in the front line, uh, Timothy, roll an attack, please. Uh, I was muted. Sorry, you got that was a 14, right? Yes. Not a nine. Yeah. Okay. A telling amount of damage. 12. Uh, let's see. No. Let's see. I do get a plus one hit adjustment. All right. Um, I think that gives him AC4. Four. Uh, let me see. Uh, that does not hit. It brings its shields up to form a, just a, a wall of solid wood, and your sword bounces off. Uh, and finally, in melee, uh, let's see something from Thane Kyle. Sure. I'm assuming you're you're instabulating. Yep. Let's see what this blind guy can do. Uh, 17 total. That will hit. All right. And... 11 damage. Wow. These guys are getting jacked up. Let's see if they can give as good as they got. This is going on uh, Vroog. The first is a miss. The second. Uh, what is Vroog's armor class, please? Four. Negative one. Negative one. Okay. Let's see. Uh, dangerously close, but no. These attacks are going to the nose. Just roll two. Man, these dudes got some hit dice. All right. Uh, both of those are misses, however. All right. They're trying to push you guys back. Uh, you're giving as good as you got. They're holding their own. Um, well, remember, Rugo, last time we fought these guys, 
Um, it took quite a while for us to beat down one of them. Right, right. I, I, I forgot how many cloud, guys they had. Yeah, I'd stinking cloud these guys if I could. Like, genuinely, it'd be worth it. We should push them back. Right. All back to the top uh, of the stairs. I'm at the top of the stairs. What do you think I'm doing, Claret? Stay, stay in your lane. <laughs> All right. Uh, so I'm guessing melee stays. Uh, any spell casting going? Not for nope. me. Can that yeah. ring do anything to make them easier to hit? Uh, no. <laughs> Well, I didn't know a fairy fire like just made people in general like easier to hit, as an example. Oh yeah, I mean the spell fairy fire uh, absolutely does. Does anyone have fairy fire? I do on my ring, I believe. Yes, you can. You can give the party a uh, plus two uh, okay. to hit if you Let want. Let me. Uh, it's underground though, right? So that's the. I need to look at the powers that are underground. Let's see. Uh, that is correct. Let's see. Fairy uh, fire, I could do twice a day. Yeah, let's do that. I'm going to do that. Yeah. Cool. Clerics can cast plus. All right, so you're going to cast fairy fire from the uh, ring. Off, yeah. off of the ring. That's just going to take a couple of segments. They're going to continue to try and hack you guys to pieces. Uh, let's roll initiative. And it, uh, Thane Kyle, it is your turn, please. That is a d6. Yep. I got a three. You got a, four. got a four. Okay, fairy fire goes on segment five. So uh, that's going to be you guys. Um, My spear uh, has a speed factor of like 10. So does that mean I go after the fairy fire's cast? So you will go after the fairy fire. Uh, Droog, I think, uh, what is the speed factor on long swords? This is where this kind of thing matters. A lot of people... Yeah, I think it's five. Why does speed But it's factor? a magic long sword. It might even be faster, you know? Uh, yeah, it's it's going to be a, a maximum of four. Um, this is why speed factor matters for beneficial spells. Um, or the players can even technically seed a an initiative and just wait and then return blows. It can get pretty tactical. Um, so long sword, that's your speed. So yes, fairy fire will actually go and they will still go after you guys. So um, fairy fire illuminates them. Um, and I'm not sure. Let me see here. I need to check real quick if uh, there is no saving throw. So, yes, uh, they are lit up by target indicators. So do your thing, guys. Right, and that's plus one to hit. Two. Uh, fairy fire is plus two. You're Ooh. Plus two to hit them. This gives me a total of plus six. Good God. Do something off. Ah, bummer. Well, you know, <laughs> like, <laughs> One, one giant miss. Ah, ah, right. ah. You're just awestruck by the sudden uh, illumination of blue sparks around them. Um, That's it, yeah. John from the back of the party says, Vroog, no, don't be mesmerized by, the, by this amazing otherworldly power. Strike them. Uh, You're talking to me this whole time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh... Timothy, let's see. Uh, let's see. Tartha uh, put his sword in. Come on. I get a plus one, but it doesn't help much. Uh, plus four. Uh, plus uh, three. Right. Uh, plus three. I get plus one naturally, so six. Yeah. yeah so that that ain't getting it. Uh, Sir Standard. <laughs> hey, we got fairy fire. We don't need to roll good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm rolling at a plus five. So let's so, have a look see here. So thirteen total for a fourth level fighter. AC4. AC4. Um, and that will not hit. Well, I tried. Okay. Bug men's revenge. I'm feeling good about this. I'm fe I'm feeling I'm feeling confident about these die rolls. Uh yep. let's see. So You're one is a miss. Right. 
12 is, uh, let's see, check the chart again. Uh, 12 I believe is 11 was dangerously close. 12 is dangerously close, too. 12 is dangerously close. Uh, 10 and an 11. Uh, Tim, what is Tarth's armor class again, please? Four. Uh, yeah, both, both of those are going to hit. So Tarth will take uh, 15 oh. damage. That's oh, that's a seven. I thought that looks like a one. It does. It needs a, like a one, one, sir. <laughs> hey, I'm looking at I'm looking at the results on the on the computer, and it it says oh. it's a fifteen. So that ain't me just 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 misreading it. I promise. Yeah, no, but he uses those dice just to trick you into thinking you have a chance. Yep. <laughs> yeah, that that knocks me down to five. So we got to be careful at this point. That is a cruel and unusual thing. All right, new round, but you guys are striking at plus two. Uh, Dooms is Vroog gonna fight? Absolutely, especially and seeing my new buddy get uh chopped in the chest. Duran, we need aid. Uh, for those of you tuned in, uh, yes, we are going past uh, our usual two hour mark. We're going to finish up this fight tonight. Um, so, uh, Vroog, you're calling for aid but continuing to fight. Uh, Kevin, how about Marius? Uh, let me see. Spark shower. Let me see what it says. Uh, if you're in the back of the party, you nope, don't want to do nope. that. Yeah, it's a cone. So, yeah, we're not doing that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I, I'll move forward, but I'm not going to be able to get into the front. So. Yeah. Not not a cliffhanger tonight, Miss Bella. Um, we're just we're just going to fight on. Um, so, Mobius, how about Duran? Uh, well, since I'm right behind him, I'm going to give, uh, what's his name? Tarth, um, cure light wounds. Okay. Um, nice. uh, Thane, you, you're just going to continue to, all right. Uh, now Tim, you can parry, you can basically put your strength bonus and that will be a negative on their uh, on this thing's two hit attacks against you. So, do you want to parry or do you just want to fight? I just want to fight. We're gonna see what well, happens. Then, then this initiative is uh, is all up to you. Roll a d6 for initiative, sir. No pressure. Just you know. Did you roll a d8? Get a four. I got a four. It's simultaneous combat. However, um, well, they have long swords. It is truly simultaneous combat, but you guys attack uh, first, and then I'll do my attacks. All right, so uh, Charth got four hit points back. Okay. Yep. Well, five, but yeah. That is a hit. I rolled a 22. A twenty-two. All right, roll some damage. Nice. Uh, bounce off that die, huh? Six points. Okay. Um, let's see. Uh, Tim, go ahead and roll your attack. Fourteen, fifteen. That is going. Uh, Sixteen, seventeen. That will definitely hit. Uh, so what am I rolling? Uh, you're going to be rolling a D8. For long he's a D12. D12. Oh, I'm, yeah, he's a large. And 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 uh, Timothy or Tim, you can you can add the plus right there in DD dice, so that the number comes out right. You know, there's a little plus clicker on there once you click a die. All right. Well, I'll just. No, we can math too. It's fine. I mean, everyone else just sees the die roll. So, uh, did I roll? I didn't roll the right one, did I? No, you nope. did. You did the the okay. the d twelve. Oh yeah, because there they're large. Uh, all right, yeah, you you stab him real good, and they're going to return attacks. So, uh, oh. nine, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yeah, fourteen for me. Sorry, I I I thought you were going to go ahead and I was going to get mine afterwards. All right. Well, we can we can keep that. That's fine. We'll just keep things rolling, as it were. Yep. Uh, let's see. 
two Aspis attack Brood. One hits. Ah. He chops you for one. See, that's a one, and you only take one. Is that all you got, bug man? <laughs> all right, let me see here. Nope, because the other one is is pivoting and and going after you also. And ah. you are struck two more times. For fifteen. I'll tag you back. <laughs> All right. Um, I hit AC four. You hit AC four. That uh, the he sees that spear coming and just brings up a shield and it bounces off. All right, gentlemen. This is going to be kind of the telling round. So let's see. Uh, it is Vrug's turn to roll. Um, Kevin, what is Marius doing? Yeah, I, I, there's nothing I can do without hurting my own guys. So I'm going to wait. I mean, are they really your guys at this point? I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well. I mean, honestly, I mean, I might roll to see that you cauterize some wounds shut with that spark shower. You could actually help them. Well, maybe they have a personality disorder, right? <laughs> Right, maybe. <laughs> um, all right, so you're not hosing the party down, uh, no. Mark. I'm assuming Grimsby is back at the pub going, My poor fellows, yes, yeah, he's already okay. selling those holy symbols. Wait, did someone uh, guess your light wounds? I thought, uh, yes, you did, and you got four back. Oh, okay, um. So Grimsby is doing nothing. Standard is spearing, and uh, Mobius is Duran do casting another CLW in this round. Uh, yeah, I guess on uh, Tar. <laughs> he didn't get much last time. No. Okay. Uh, let's roll initiative, and it is. Uh, I think we come back around. Yeah. Uh, uh, rolled, I think. Yeah. Uh, so Kevin, roll initiative, please. I know uh, what the bugs are going to do. I think that skipped me, actually. Uh, son of a bitch. Second one in a row. Uh, did I skip you, Dooms? Yeah, yeah, I was ready, but I was... Uh, right. Yeah, because you, you told me it was my turn, but we'll I was waiting to you and, then, and then hit Mark. All right. uh, okay. Totally my bad. Uh, neither one of those hits Vrug. Ooh. Uh, um, the 16, however... Um, there, you lose three of those points you got back there, uh, uh, Tarth. Stab. When they see, realize they can't take the half orc down, they'll they'll pivot back to you. Um, all right, counterattacks, please. This is this is an important round. <laughs> Daniel's a summon giant anteater. I've still had a D6 stage, uh, whatever, staged, but it's a uh, minus six is 11. That will, uh, AC6, it's a miss. Yeah, that will miss. Um, Tim, how about, uh, how about Tarth? Nice. That will hit. That's a D12. I do believe that's a hit. All right. That, yes, look at the hits on that one. Oh. Nice. Wow, okay. Well done. Uh, uh, you you drive your sword forward you, you know the the pain has just got like a red haze and just just like you know the black mist descends and when you whenever everyone looks over and you're just smashing through carapace with like your sword pommel and then flipping it around and jabbing it in somewhere and this thing is just kind of twitching and clicking as you're going to town on it just 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 demolishing it um and that is a hit. Eleven again. Max damage. Okay. And let me see. That finishes him. All right. It, it kind of shifts its antennas over to its fallen uh, hive kin and then back over to you. And then you just ram the sword through it. So... And that is the end of the two Aspies that you guys encountered on the stairs. 
And nice. Uh, Tarl gets three back. All right, so that three points that you lost there, uh, uh, Tarl, you get right back. Thank you. All righty, so that's where we're going to leave it, on the staircase, guys. Um, and I would like to thank everyone in the audience tonight, all you guys who have. We had, we had like over 50 at some point, which for me is, is just great numbers. And it, it's, it's fun nonetheless. So I hope you'll all come back next week to watch us. Or better yet, come back tomorrow night because we're going to have more awesomeness because Kyle's going to be here. Uh, that's right. Kyle Shuant will be in the house. He's going to run something, so you better watch out. Thursday night, Matt Finch will be in the house. That's right. I said no guests this week. I lied. No, Matt reached out to me. He's got something cool he wants to talk about, so Matt will be here on Thursday. Then Friday, with some of these guys, we're heading over to Gamma World again. So... Uh, Again, I appreciate everyone being here this evening. Thank you all for hanging out. Thank you to my players, to Doom Sword, to Kevin, to Mark, to Mobius, uh, Thane Kyle, and of course, our latest addition, Tim Imholt. Thank Happy you so to much. still be alive. It was close. <laughs> uh, so thank you one and all, everybody. And I'm going to let them free of the bugs but the rest of you are going to have to keep your eyes peeled for the dreaded owl bear peace good night love y'all have you seen my owl bear Here's to all the weirdos everywhere in the woods and in the air. Have you seen my owl bear? Should I shave off all my hair? Bobs are all around. Some live in tunnels underground. Some are fat, some are rich, some are sleeping in a ditch. Ride a crooked horse without a saddle way off course. Naked as a toad, all the way to Smoky Joe's. Have you seen the little creep driving fast in his little green Jeep? He smells like fish and brandy, but his rotten teeth look dandy. Take me to the show, I don't care if fast or slow. From action flicks to dancing dicks, just take me to the